What's up, YouTubers? It's Adrian coming back at you with another video. Today, I am doing a sponsored video by the company Lip Monthly. Um, this is a company you can sign up for a monthly subscription. Your first month will be $5. After that, it will be $12.95. You get to pick up three to five custom lip uh, products. You get to choose every month your own lip products. Um, the first month, they just sent me a package. I didn't choose them myself. Um, they sent me three products. I have the Sorme Treatment Cosmetic Smear Proof Lip Liner in Natural Nude Number 7. That's what I have on my lips today. And then I just went over that with a nude gloss. And then they sent me a lip and cheek uh, product in sh like a champagne color. And then they sent me a kiss and smink. And I'm going to believe this is another lip and cheek product. And this is in a brighter pink. Um, I used this product today as the base for my eyeshadow. And I used the lip liner in this video. So today's tutorial will be me using products by the company Lip Monthly. I will put their website information and all of that below. And any uh, discount codes that they offer to me and my viewers. So if you guys like this look, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next week. So today I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill palette. The first shade that I'm going to use is going to be M-F-E-O. Uh, I use this for my transition shade because it's basically the same color as my skin almost. After I put that color, I go in with Pooter for my second transition shade. Um, this because these are the perfect neutral colors for my skin tone. After I get those two shades on there, I jump into my products from Lip Monthly. So I take that Kiss and Smink product. I think this was a lip and cheek product, but I'm going to use this for an eyeshadow base. Uh, because I really don't wear cheek products, as in blush. So I just put that on my eyelid for a base. Once I get the base on there... I go back into the Jaclyn Hill palette into the shade Faint first, and it was pretty faint, <laughs> and I didn't like that. So after I put Faint down, I went right on top of that with Firework. After I put both of those shades in, I take my MAC 224 and just buff those into the crease to blend into my transition shades. After that, to start the halo um, part of this look, I want to darken the outer V and inner V of my eye. So I go into Mocha from the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm just using a really small, fluffy blending brush to do so. And as you see, I'm just taking my time to slowly build up the color. Um, once I get mocha on there, I decide I want to deepen it just a tiny bit more. So I dip into the shade Chip in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And then I put the color down with a pencil brush. And then I blend it out with that same small fluffy brush that I was using before. So I put the color down right here. And then I'll blend it out with the fluffy brush. The pencil brush helps you put the color in a precise position and then the blending brush just blends it out so once I get all of that together I just go back into my transition shades and I blended that with that 224 uh, for the drop shadow I use both of my transition shades on the bottom um, so I put the first transition shade down with that small um, precision brush and then I put the second transition shade with that small uh, fluffy brush and now you're seeing me going into mocha and chip to put it in the outer and the inner V of my eye and after I'm done with that I use my finger to put the frosty color firework right under my eyelid then I just go ahead and um, put some black gel liner on my waterline I couldn't find my black pencil, so that's why I used the gel. 
so I'm just gonna pop on some lashes really quick and after that I jump into my lip liner this is the lip liner from lip monthly this is actually my favorite product right now um, it's like the per perfect neutral shade so after I line my lips I'm gonna go ahead and fill them completely in with the lip liner this is an easy way to have a matte lip without having to buy liquid matte lipsticks if that makes sense so you could actually stop there I threw on a nude gloss that I had just for extra pop and that really completes the look for the day you guys so thank you for watching